Hi folks, how you doing? Um, I wanted to do another CV builder review for you. Uh, this one is about visual CV. So this is my third one. I've done CV template. I've also done kick, res kick resume. Um, so there's lots of CV builders out, out there. So this is, a, is another one. Uh, just looking at the website already, you can see there on the screen, it looks super, super nice, like very nice uh, graphic design. And it looks like there's gonna be some nice uh, features and functions. So. Uh, let's get straight into it. I'm going to log in with my uh, Google account. Uh, nice and easy, so that's great. No need to kind of sign up and create passwords and all that sort of stuff. And you can see just off the bat, uh, there's a very nice dashboard, create a resume, create a website. Um, so if you're trying to market yourself individually, create a journal entry and create a cover letter. So pretty much everything you could need, uh, resume, website, uh, journal and cover letter. Uh, obviously, the resume and the cover letter are going to be most relevant for some people. And then down the bottom, you've got um, some further guides that will help you uh, write your CV, uh, create cover letters, uh, and you know uh, get some, uh, I suppose, insights into the job market and so on. And there's a knowledge center if you want to read more. And there's also a premium version, it seems, so $15 a month. Uh, or at $24 a month if you're getting billed monthly. So 15 is for quarterly, and then $24 is for monthly. So a little bit more expensive uh, than the other ones uh, I've reviewed, but, uh, but let's take a look and see, uh, see what you get. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my first rev resume. Um, uh, so do I want example content, uh, an existing resume, example content, or to start from scratch? Well, um, I'm going to assume you don't have an existing resume because that's kind of the most difficult place to start. I'm not going to use example content because I find often with uh, example content, you can end up just deleting the content or, you know, spending extra time reading it to see if it's relevant or not. So if it's not relevant for you, you know, it's almost taking you more time. Whereas if you just start from scratch, uh, well, you get to write in exactly what you want and how you want. Uh, but really it's up to you. So, uh, let's see, lots of nice uh, templates already, it seems. I'm going to do what I always do, which is uh, keep it as simple as possible. Um, I actually like this one here, and I like this one here because both of these, the writing goes across the, the whole screen, and I like to put lots of detail on a CV because I think that demonstrates value and comes across very well. Um, this one just looks a little bit more nicely designed. So, yeah, I might go with this one. Oh, guest Kennedy. Well, let's go with my uh, actual name, uh, Ronan Kennedy. Uh, put in my current title, so career coach. Um, I can put in uh, location, phone number, all that sort of stuff. Website to look really nicely designed already. Work experience. You know, I would love to add a little profile section up there. Is that possible? Let's see, page layout, education. Oh, add section, here we go. Summary, no, that's great. Um, ah, and there my summary is up the top. Um, okay, experienced. Oop. Science, blah, blah, blah. Right, so very easily just type in, very intuitive, um, very nice design, uh, just straight off the bat. Uh, can seem can seem to uh, change everything very easily and add things, and all the formatting is done for you there already. Fantastic. Okay, perfect, easy. So I'm really liking this. It's just super simple. It loads quickly. Uh, the design is elegant. The user interface is simple. Um, that's great. Let me see, how do I download this, download PDF? Ah, so for Word I want, uh, I need to upgrade to Pro. That's fine, and I think Word, as I said in other videos, I think Word is important, just in case that's what the organization uh, requires, and sometimes nonprofit or governmental organizations are quite keen on getting Word CVs, because they want to be able to edit things or copy things. Also, uh, as far as I know, some um, algorithms are better at reading Word compared to reading PDF. Nevertheless, if I download the PDF, uh, okay, it's branded if I don't pay, and if I do pay, it's unbranded. Okay, 
Uh, very good. So I guess uh, it's very nicely done, but it really feels like you have to pay if you want to get, I mean, you really do need an unbranded uh, CD. Um, so it really feels like you have to pay, but to be fair, it's a very nice layout. I think it will save you time. It is very nicely done and uh, it will be easy to duplicate and uh, create you know, more CVs, but also create matching res uh, cover letters. So let's take a look at that now. If I create a cover letter, what does it give me? Okay, so it's not necessarily giving me a matching cover letter straight away. I'm not sure why, but, I, I could, but to be fair, I can see that these cover letters do reflect the CVs that were on the first page. So I'm gonna choose a matching cover letter and then you can see it fills in everything there for you already. Okay, so that's fantastic. Um, I think that's really nice, very easy to use. And let me see, same thing again. If I want to download uh, something that uh, is branded or not branded, I'm gonna have to pay for it. Um, layout, templates, settings, portrait, landscape. Um, so that seems it, right? Very easy to use, really have to pay for it. Uh, and then I guess it's up to you if you feel it's uh, worth it or not. Will it save you time? Um, of course, you could only pay for a month and then do as many CVs as possible. But I guess, in generally speaking, it's nice to have more time and to be able to, let's say, apply over a three-month period so that you know you can really make sure that uh, you're doing it in a calm and composed way and not just panicking. You know, so you're uh, trying to get as many done in, in a shorter period of time as possible, uh, especially when you're going for higher roles. Probably it's going to take a little bit longer because you're picking and choosing. Um, so really, you want to have this uh, this type of software for a little bit longer. I think generally speaking, expect to be doing it for about uh, two or three months. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you like this uh, CD builder? Do you like Visual CD, or do you prefer the uh, free versions? Great. Thanks for watching.